Hi. Spatial elements in Revit could definitely use some development. Today I'm going to talk about some tips on how to ease speed and automate some of the work user, users usually need to do in area and area plan creation. Oftentimes areas in projects are comprised of multiple rooms or spaces so had it logical to me that it makes much more sense to be able to create area objects by selecting uh, some rooms like the set of rooms of an apartment or a department or the rentable area spaces of a plan uh, etc. Users also need to communicate information back and forth between rooms and areas. Like if we are talking about a residential use type of areas here, uh, we need to write the space function for filtering later on uh, in uh, scheduling. Uh, we need to calculate the net area uh, of the total gross area. We need to calculate the maximum occupant load factor and estimated occupant load factor advised by IBC chapter 10 based on uh, uh, the use type of the space or the area. We as well need include information about how many uh, bedrooms, how many bathrooms, how many kitchens in a uh, present in an apartment etc so I'm going to use the the use type I'm going to choose the use type here to be residential and let's select all of our areas here all of my information now uh, uh, is written So uh, uh, after uh, uh, all of uh, after all information uh, uh, is read and written automatically to area objects, we can very easily add this information to uh, our schedules. If you like the video, please uh, hit the like button and share it with your friends. And if you have any Revit development idea and would like to get it done, you can submit it to our Facebook page, Architects Design Studio, 
or uh, to my LinkedIn account. I think uh, this is all there is to it for now. Thanks for watching, and this is Amrish Alan signing out.